There's just no way you can make this stuff up. But hey, it is me after all. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Josh here with Josh's Lawn Landscape. Um, it's actually good afternoon. It's not good morning. It's actually a just after lunchtime. So um, I am heading to the uh, pruning job, uh, the property to do the pr hedge trimming and pruning uh, that I spoke about in my last video. So um, as y'all know, the HL94K trimmers are out of service at the moment. So I will be rocking with the HS45s. Um, which they will be able to handle it um, the trimmer bar length is the same as the HL 94s so um, maybe one or two where it might be a little more work just because of the height of the shrub um, without having that extended reach but we'll make it work and so um, heading down there to get that one knocked out and then I will be um, going back to finish up the last bit of trimming weed eating at the cemetery later on. So uh, that's what's on the docket for the rest of the afternoon. And so I'll try to get some, at least before and after, maybe a little bit of uh, footage of mowing a few little clusters of shrubs, time lapse, stuff like that possibly. So uh, hope you all will enjoy it. And uh, I think I got one new subscriber in the past couple of days. So uh, welcome to the channel. And um, I'm going to try to get back into being a little better and responding. I've got a few more comments to get caught up on. And um, I'll stick around. See how it goes. All right, y'all. Um, I'm back. So I haven't got any trimming footage yet but uh that's a whole nother story and i know how much y'all love me to for me to talk <laughs> but i'm taking a break because um had a little mishap as you can tell from the intro and i want to explain what happened so um i'm gonna turn the camera around here and kind of walk y'all through what happened to a piece of equipment and then maybe show you just a little bit of what i got pruned um still have to do uh clean up all the clippings and stuff but um we'll get to it so hold on just a second all right so as you know uh the hl94 is down um got the old hs45 um out here pruning it up but it was not without issue <laughs> so um i think i put the picture at the beginning of the video so just so you'll know um, I got to this job earlier and got out, gloves and everything set, earbuds, got all my stuff ready, uh, pulled the HS45 out and uh, went to do the pull start on it. The pull rope pulls all the way out and will not retract. So um, I kind of tapped on the cover a little bit uh, just to see if maybe it was jammed, it wouldn't come loose. So I took, there's five screws in this, um, one, two, three, four, five, which you take loose, the whole orange cover assembly comes off the top. There is a spring in here, and the gear goes around it, or the uh, holder for the pull rope. So the, re the coil spring, I'm assuming had worn out. When I took the cover off, there was some dirt and stuff in here. Um, I sprayed some WD-40 in here. I got it to loosen up a little bit, but it would not retract all the way. Just messed up. So, And just so you'll see, uh, there's the old coil spring. So I actually bought just the spring. You can buy this whole assembly with the spring and pull rope and everything in it, which I actually did with that black piece for the BR-600, if y'all remember that. Uh, the pull rope broke on it two years ago, I believe it was. And when I took that cover off, the spring just popped out of it. So, um, worked out a little better here. There is one pin that slides over the peg that holds that gear in place that the pull rope goes around. So you pull that off, 
pull the gear up there is actually a recessed area for the spring so it kept it from just shooting out um, but i pulled it out the new spring comes in a holder that actually has it set to the right size and what you do is you actually set it down and line it up inside this housing and then you push it down into that uh, recessed area on the underside here and it holds it in place to keep it from just uncoiling. Uh, then you just have to make sure you wrap the uh, cord back around it uh, properly. And voila. So um, I was almost frustrated to the point of actually buying a new hedge trimmer. Thought about it. Um, I thought about just buying the regular extended reach. Uh, the 56 I think it is is just the regular straight somewhat extended reach hedge trimmer um but i didn't do it i decided to try to fix this one i got it working um so a 14 dollar fix uh kept me from buying a 400 dollar hedge trimmer <laughs> which i don't know i may still go and buy this one here is about oh 10 or 12 years old already um but still does a good job. And that was the <laughs> issue today for another piece of equipment. So, and now this is doing what my chainsaw was doing. The on off switch is not manual operating properly. So basically you just have to choke it off and then when it shuts off, take it off, choke, and you can start it back up. So I'm still gonna have to get this worked on uh, for this part. Um, I may pop this handle off of here myself and see Maybe there's just a loose or a broke wire or something in there that I can fix real quick. So sometimes I'm kind of handy, but sometimes I just break stuff. Um, but you can see, here we go. Um, I'm on the one on the corner. I've already pruned this camellia here. Uh, the little kuba beside it. I think what I'm going to do with this lower pedalum, it's kind of gotten out of hand. Um, but as established as it is, I think I'm going to pretty much stump cut it pretty close to the ground and just allow it to re-sprout um it's got good growth on it but it's just so tall it's spindly down at the bottom as you can see so i think i'm just going to take it down and let it uh fill back out it'll be easier to uh shape and manage after that so plus it's kind of right here on top of the ac so some of the limbs were hanging like all the way over here near the like you can see there they were coming straight out here <clears throat> over to the shutter Camellia here on the corner. Got a cluster of uh, Nandinas here. Just kind of shaping them around. Um, got a three pack of uh, Hollies. And they all kind of look like that. So, a lot of debris and stuff to clean up here. Um, some of the Holly stuff is so small. What I'll actually probably do is push it out here in the yard. And then chop it up really good and then i can rake it up into a lot less as far as the number of bags so um let's say i got that one done working on this one uh what i normally do with these is i'll kind of work the sides up and then i'll do an angled cut walk around uh, all the way around and then just kind of meet from side to side with a little bit to finish off the top uh i'll start working on this one too so some of these have some odd growth just kind of have to make them look best i can um without you know creating too many gaps there is uh another camellia there there's a holly on the other side of it and the other side of the house has um i think an azalea and some uh hydrangea there might be a hydrangea on the other side so but like i said i'll take the rakes and kind of brush through get as much of the clippings out of these as i can um there's one sky pencil there i just kind of topped it back here's another one over here there's a cluster here and a cluster there and then that's and there's actually an azalea on the corner tail there so 
And like I said, a lot of this stuff, I'll probably run over it with the mulching blades on the mower. And uh, then that'll make it easier to rake and bag. And what little bit doesn't get raked up will just uh, decay into the ground. So I actually have one or two more cuts here. And I'm also going to be calculating uh, for pine straw as well. So that's what's going on so far. So I may try to maybe set the camera up um, and get some real time and time lapse with one of the clusters of um, hollies in the front. And then see how this video turns out. So it's been an interesting run. Uh, Issues with both my hedge trimmers, but got one of them going to the point where I can work and make some money. And uh, turned out to be not so bad today, but uh, just not going to get quite as far as I thought uh, with this and another job. But hey, that's the nature of it. It happens. Seems to happen more to me, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, appreciate y'all watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get a little more footage for y'all. And wrap this one up for long. So, uh, y'all stick around and let me know your thoughts. Be back. see how much I'm taking off and get a kind of an idea of how I'm going to shape them up. Just kind of have to rock through the connections there. Um, some people will open these up. Uh, I think these have grown together to the point where they can be left that way. So, and you just kind of contour it over front to back. Got these three here. Three more right there. I'll show you some more when it's done.
All right, y'all. Real quick, just got this one trimmed out. Uh, might have to take a little bit right there, but um, it was over halfway up to the roof up there. So really leggy in the middle, but turned out nice. Just gonna rake this up. Um, not really a whole lot I can do with this one. Um, so I may just leave it alone. Uh, got this one done. This one here. That one's touched up. The Akuba shaped up just a little bit. Took the lower pedalum down, like I said, all the way up to here. It was really, really leggy. Um, and then all the growth was out the top. So no good way to shorten it. And it looked decent. Um, so as healthy as it is, I'm just gonna, just taking it down close to the ground and let it sprout back and it'll fill out from there. Got the corner here done. Nandinas are trimmed out. The holly's there. Y'all saw some footage right here of me pruning. Hopefully it turned out all right. Let me know. And got those shaped up. Once again, making it look decent. I got some cleaning up just there on the end of the house. And then uh, that little patch in the back. So, Ronaldo, it looks like it's going to be your favorite finish. But, uh, oh, one other thing. I have not bagged up anything yet. So, just in case you want to know how this stuff chops up. only stuff that has been hauled off is the big pieces from the lower pedal so most everything else there's some twigs here that don't have to get raked um, but we'll see so like I said this right here and then around the end of the house so hope you like it y'all let me know what you think and uh yeah, everything was chopped up with the molten blades on the Skag V-Ride, so. Uh, that's that. I'll be back. All right, y'all. Real quick. Uh, just want to wrap this one up. It's Ronaldo's favorite ending. Dark. <laughs> um, just want to say, hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. And, um, again, appreciate all the support. As always, y'all be safe, be kind, be blessed. Catch you on the next. Thanks, everybody.